mysterious person behind the screen. So today, which is the 19th of November, um, exactly a week ago was my 13th birthday. Uh, so yeah, I'm making this video to show you some of the stuff uh, that I got. So uh, first things first, the first thing that I can see here on my pile is a pack of Jelly Babies. <laughs> Um, yeah, me and my friend kind of devoured the whole pack. I think there's only like four left in there. Um, so yeah, I got a pack of Jelly Babies. Yay! Um, I got some Blu-rays as well, which are pretty good. I got the Ghostbusters 30th Anniversary Edition double pack with the first two films, and it comes in this nice slipcase here. Um, now the cool thing about this is that it comes with a note from the director of the uh, of Ghostbusters. Uh, Ivan Reitman, if I can find it here. And there's the booklet which takes you behind the scenes of the two films, the cast notes and everything. Uh, but yeah, here's the note and it has his signature at the bottom, which uh, is really cool. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a good set and uh, it's the first time I own both the movies on Blu-ray, so... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, worth your money. Um, the US, I think, got it um, in a book pack, similar to something I'm about to show you now, and it had that behind-the-scenes booklet built into it, and it was a really nice book pack, but I don't know if the UK got this, but um, yeah, I've just got the one with the case, but and it doesn't take anything away from it, you still get exactly the same content, so yeah. So here's the thing that I told you was similar to, the X-Men Days of Future Past Amazon exclusive uh, book pack edition. And it comes in this slipcase here. And as you can see, it is a really nice book. So, take you through the pages and it just has the uh, pictures of characters and then the disc, um, which is there. Um, so, it's it's a great film. In fact, I'd probably say it's my favourite X-Men. Um, and this book pack makes it all worth your while. It's exclusive to Amazon and I don't know if it's limited or not, but yeah... Um, this is worth a while. My only complaint is it kind of sticks out in the shelf. Like when you put it on the shelf, it for some reason sticks out for the from the rest of the movies. But uh, yeah, it's kind of bad. But you know, it does doesn't matter really. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually gonna do a review of this uh, Blu-ray review of it. So look forward to that. So my friend from school bought me this mug and this Tardis coaster to go with it. And um, this is really cool. I really love it. It's got the Daleks on. Um, it's got the classic Daleks and the special weapons Dalek and everything. And I love this because I had a Sylvester McCoy mug and it was really nice. It was really retro. I had a quote from it. But unfortunately, I don't even know how it happened. It chipped. Um, so it was kind of, that was kind of bad because I really like that mug. Um, but I really like this mug and it's really nice. So um, thanks, buddy. So I got the annual Ripley's, believe it or not, 2015. And uh, it's like Guinness Book of Records, but um, just like stuff that you can't believe, I suppose. It's just like like that. That's disgusting. You can't even see it, but uh, just disgusting things like that, really. It's just like Guinness Book of Records. Um, but yeah, good book. I got two big finish audios. Bang, bang, a boom. And the Aside and Adventure. I've listened to the Aside and Adventure because if you remember in my experience um, video, the Doctor Who experience, I bought the Trail of the White Worm without realising this was the second part. So I kind of needed to listen to this because I really wanted to find out what happened. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the more livelier part of that uh, story. And uh, Bang Bang A Boom, I haven't had the chance to listen to yet. Um, but, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, now... Uh, I've heard that uh, the Big Finish audios, numbers 1 to 50 are um, like out of print, going out of print. But it's a number 39. So I think what happened was my it was in the experience. And my dad told me he um, he bought it then without me knowing and um, reserved it for me for my birthday. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I can't wait to listen to this, actually. This uh, one looks and really good. Yes, I did get a DVD uh, box set. Uh, Earth Story, the Earth Story box set with Gunfighters and The Awakening. Um, now, i am just got onto part two of The Awakening, and so far I love it. But The Gunfighters... 
meh, I don't, I don't really know. I love parts one and two, but parts three and four, eh, they're just a bit, I just think they drag on and just a bit, no, I don't really like it. I, parts one and two I like, but parts three and four. And of no. course, a tradition in collection updates on my channel, it seems, a Titan figure. And... I have got the legend that is Tom Baker this time round. Um, and so far I've managed to collect the 3rd Doctor, the 4th Doctor, the 10th Doctor and the 11th Doctor. So I've got, two, uh, I've got two pairs of consecutive Doctors. Which is really cool and I love this figure, how he has the scarf um, and the hat and it's, ju it's just cool. And when I open the bag I could feel in the bag that I it, there was a hat so it could only be Sylvester McCoy or Tom Baker and I got Tom Baker and it's it's I love this figure so much it's probably my favorite figure that I've managed to get so far um but yeah it's really good and I got uh, a game Sunset Overdrive the day one edition now this game is absolutely brilliant I cannot recommend it enough it's an Xbox one exclusive and it's absolutely brilliant. It's so funny. Uh, I completed it last night, and it's just amazing. It's 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 really good, really funny. It doesn't take itself too too seriously. The characters seem to know that they're in a video game, um, which just leads to some great jokes. And they're really, it's one of the best games I've played in years actually. And it's uh, I cannot recommend it enough. Go buy this. It's really great. I got the day one edition which means you get um, um, a character costume and a weapon um, so yeah it's worth the money as well and it, you know it is great it is a great game so yeah so now on to the things that I bought myself with the money that I got for my birthday um, so as you can see here Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Day Zero Edition, which is just the Day One Edition, but they couldn't call it that because it's not an Xbox One exclusive. Um, I can't really comment on this because I've only played like five minutes of the first mission, um, but so far it seems good. It um, seems like just another Call of Duty game, to be honest, but it is good. It, the boost jump is the most useful thing in the world, and so much fun just jumping around everywhere shooting. Um, yeah, it, yeah, good game. Uh, so far at least, I can't really comment, but yeah, so far, Marvel's good game. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the complete first season, uh, now I'm so glad that I got this, because I watched like 15 episodes of the first season when it aired on Channel 4, um, and then I stopped watching it because I, I just built up a collection of episodes on the Sky Plus um, I'd recorded, and I just hadn't had time to watch them, so I just, like, and my season 2 is on so I just I need to watch the rest of season one so I'm gonna do that with uh this and overall it's a nice set. I got it from HMV, my local HMV. Um so it's a bit tatty. I mean this it's just it looks dirty. You can't see it from uh the camera but you can see it there. There's loads of scratches and like weird dots in it. Uh it's just, it's just really dirty and tatty but you know uh it's okay. It's got five discs so it's a pretty good Blu ray set in my opinion. Um, pick it up if you're a fan of uh, Marvel. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire and The Hunger Games. Um, this is a two uh, Blu-ray pack. I watched The Hunger Games um, around my friend's house um, and I really wanted to pick it up and I hadn't seen Catching Fire yet. Um, my friend really recommended it. Um, so I saw this. I've seen this pack on DVD in like uh, Tesco or Asda many 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 times but it's never been on blu-ray and i really want to get the movies on blu-ray um so i saw this for 10 pounds um and i thought it was a really good deal i haven't watched catching fire yet but the hunger games is good um and um yeah great movies um or well, great movie i haven't seen catching fire um but yeah uh, gr and great set overall i mean this is a bit loose i mean if you just turn it on its side like that they fall out um, I've got my thumb over that um, to, you know, support them so they don't fall out. But, you know, um, yeah, good good set and good value for money as well. And, uh, yeah, pick, pick this up if you get a chance before Mockingjay Part 1 comes out. Um, I'm going to see that probably. Um, but, yeah, good and set. And finally, this cam... Well, not, it's not really a canvas, it's a picture. But this is awesome. I love this. Comic books and Doctor Who mixed together. 
uh, what can go wrong it's made by pyramid international and it's just great um uh, yeah from b and q i just can't be re can't really say much else it's uh just brilliant and my sylvester mccoy the one that went there um that i bought from the doctor who experience that is there now um i have to say it looks better there and then this uh sits there now so it, it yeah i love this um yeah really good gift so that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the stuff that I got for my birthday. Um, I did pre-order two things. I pre-ordered the uh, Doctor Who uh, Complete Series 8 BBC Shop exclusive with the TARDIS slipcase sound effect. And I've just uh, got an email that's been dispatched. So uh, hopefully that will arrive soon. And I pre-ordered uh, GTA 5 for the Xbox One, which I have here for the Xbox 360. But... Figures I might as well pick out for the Xbox One because I don't need to tell you how great it is and how they've remastered it just so good. But never order it from Amazon because it's, uh, as I filmed this, it was out yesterday and the expected date it's going to be delivered is like Thursday or Friday. I thought pre ordering was like guaranteed that you're going to get it on the day it comes out or the day before. It's just like, oh my god, and I'm really annoyed because everyone's saying how good um, the remastering is of it, and I'm just, oh, it annoys me so much. But yeah, the Series 8 overview video, uh, that is coming. Uh, I just haven't filmed it yet. I've been kind of like uh, caught up in the birthday. I've been playing lots of Sunset Overdrive, and yeah, so I haven't really had time to film that. Um, but it is coming. Um, but I thought I'd film this first because, uh, yeah, I wanted to film this. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you soon.